Hey everyone, I'm Brenna Maker, and welcome to Pacific Drive. The long-anticipated game I've been wanting to play, and it takes place in the Olympic Peninsula, which is just over 100 miles of where I am right now, in the beautiful Pacific Northwest of Washington, which makes it even cooler. I've seen a little bit of this game, I've seen the trailers, I've seen very little gameplay of it. Um, but I'm going to be going into it almost completely blind on what I'm going to be doing, what the purpose is. I do know it's like a locked-in area in the forest up there. And I don't know if I'm a survivor or what. Um, and there's strange anomalies that happen. And your only companion, from what I've seen is a station wagon. Which is awesome. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. <clears throat> Wet my gullet. Much better. Lush forests, hiking trails, scenic drives. I like how it's like a... Uh, like a letter when you send to somebody or a little ad. It's cool. Oh, Rainforest, Hurricane Ridge, Hallelock, and Ruby Beach, Lake Crescent. Sounds familiar. Self guided tour. Pacific Drive. Auto shop. Move once, stay forever. S and F hauling. Drink up. One free soda pop at any Big Dan's. Park rules. No littering, campfires, flash photography between the hours of 3 to 5 p.m. or driving off-road. No driving off that road. And remember, instructions from any government officials you may encounter, they must be obeyed. Don't litter and drive safe. <laughs> Ah, oh, I got a runny nose. In Pacific Drive, the game saves when you load into a new level. You can save during a trip by leaving the current level, triggering a save. Manual save is available in the pause menu from the garage. You can also abandon your trip from the pause menu to return to the garage, triggering penalties and a save. Penalties? There are options in the settings to modify these penalties. Alright, let's do this. I'm so excited. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations and solved disappearances, and blah blah blah, because I wasn't fast enough. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Olympic Peninsula, 1998, south of the Barrier Wall. What do we got here? Interesting. Gas is W, S for brake and reverse. Okay, makes sense. Forward or back. Man, that music is so loud. Some pallets in the back. Poopies. Man, my head sure can turn almost completely around. 
Blah, blah, blah. Where's the volume for this thing? Can I adjust that? Sulfur and smoke glows through the snow. It smells like money. Oh. We're just going right into it. That's how we steer. Between the dry pines, our bones unbecoming. Oh, <laughs> was not paying attention. The scenery is so beautiful in this. Hold up. Sorry, that music is very loud. It's very cool, but very loud. I thought I adjusted that. Go 60. I think that's better. You might have to bang behind red eyes on the park. It literally looks like where I live. It's awesome. It's like it crumbled down in that tunnel. This is so cool. Just on the road. <laughs> it's gonna have to get some taking used to. Wow. You can really feel every bump in the road. Toggle wipers. Jeez, everything moves. This is awesome. <laughs> Ow. that it's like a wall what's that say restricted area man I love the mechanics of this game it literally feels like I'm there Everything's still recording. The other day it stopped right in the middle. I was not very happy about that. is still just so loud. Let's see what 30 feels like. Why does it still seem like the same level? Is it sound effects? Oh! Radio music. Here I am adjusting the wrong one. Sorry, it didn't help, did it? And now it will. <coughs> what is happening to me? I already got sick and I'm done. Now it's working better. Now, isn't it? Sorry about that. Let's go to 50. I think that'll be perfect. There we go. All right. Now 
it's not blaring in our ears. I literally feel like I've been on this road somewhere. Wow. Toggle headlights. Nice. Oh, I'm in neutral. Caution. What's the caution for? What am I going to come up on? Oh. Oh, are my wipers? Oh. Nice. See. Sorry, I just completely forgot what my headlights were. Okay, Z. I'm just taking in so much. What's happening to my radio? What's happening to the lovely music that I had going? Something. Is it right? What? Hello? to my radio. I know they can't hear me. Warning. Further inquiries directed to gate C2B. Price is the same thing. Well, it told me not to go off the road, but I don't think I have any other choice. I see tire prints. I have no choice. Off the beaten path we go. Bumpy. Oh, what was that? This is giving me like uh, Jurassic Park vibes. just disappeared. That's normal. Wow. Something's not right. Yes, I would consider this a very restricted area, wouldn't I? Wouldn't we? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Definitely not normal. I got sucked in. zone. Something doesn't feel right. Is that tire floating? You want me to sprint towards it? Whoa. Doink. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, um, 
Is that my car? In, In a, a million, million little pieces? pieces? Oh god. My engine. Uh, this would be a very convenient way to work on my engine. Just give it the old twist-a-roo. A V8. Yeah, that's right. What's that? Hello? Ow. That would hurt to walk straight into that. Ooh, what's this? Is that my headlight? Yeah, I'm just gonna see it as being normal from here on out that all the pieces of my car are flying everywhere. I'm just glad I'm not. Somehow. I wanna touch that predator blood. Whatever it is. Find transportation. Get to safety. I'm trying. Caution. Crouch. There's going to be a lot to remember. And I know it's going to be the death of me. Jump. Sweet. I love jump buttons. tree into smithereens uh oh oh coming out there hello uh, what a swan I... uh, never mind francis the radar's acting up again he was supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago hello this? Is there somebody in there? No? I keep hearing something moving. Can I tell- oh. <gasps> Delicious beverage. Man, this thing's in shambles. It's got some nice brakes on it, though. Maybe some Brembos? Melik HT, Washington, 1947. Well, um, Oh. Here we go. Hold it. There we go. Okay, here's your tire. I'll fix you up, don't worry. Oh yeah. Feeling better now? I bet. Forgot. My number one rule. Check your surroundings. There could be something behind this building. You never know. It could be a little extra. More tires. But they're not on the rims. And they're too big. Like semi tires. Yeah, I'm not going that way. I think it's pretty clear. Let's get right into this car. Why did I say it like that? Let's get right in. Let's get in. Oh, yeah. Feels nice. It's even got that smell. That old car smell, you know? You know what I mean. Not crazy. I'm missing a door. It's okay. 
She's got personality. Hmm. Let's turn her on. Hey. Very low on gas. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave it's urgent. Get over here. I'm not speaking to you. For some reason. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through Call the Call me a room? preacher? No one's gotten into the zone or in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. East. Okay. Well, this thing drives so much better than that other car. It's like a big boat. Going on a trip in our station wagon. You know, half the fun's getting there. Sorry, I'm a little rusty like this car with my driving abilities. Oh. No! Alright. Siphon some people. Yeah. Do I. Wait. How do I get out? I know how to open my door, I just can't get out. Okay, it's in park. Am I missing something? Help! I can't get out of my car! Oh. I'll figure this out, don't worry. I had to press it again, like, really hard. That was weird. Alright. I gotta siphon fuel. Are you sure there's gonna be fuel in this thing? Oops. Drop the cap. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna be putting it in my mouth or my pocket. Do I have a gas can in here? She's clean. Man, how big of a transmission does that thing have? Seriously, am I... Am I just, uh... Am I just doing this? <clears throat> I wonder if I can push my car. What? what is that? Is it just highlighted like that so I can see it? Ugh! Why? 
Okay. There we go. Where'd that come from? A hundred percent. Here you go. You thirsty? That can shrunk. I'm assuming I could just keep filling this up as much as I can. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. What's that gonna do? What's that? No, no, no. Oh! Go! Come on. Come on. Let's go! Something's hurting. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Oh, Who? Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. That's right. No, no, if I didn't know better, I'm, I'm fast. About the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy what do you mean a remnant? No one's here working wheels in here. Oh, it's anything. very realistic. Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. What's back? Oh! Oh! I keep slipping! Come on, baby, get me out of here. When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. Now, Alfie ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. I will have to agree with you. Is that it? I'm assuming there's a garage door on the other side. Oh crap, I think I lost something. Oh, there's the door! Come on! Okay. Oh, crud. I'm still holding my gas can. I'm just gonna put it in my goo. Something is moving out there. I guess I could have just stopped on this side, but I I didn't see a garage door, and I'm assuming I need to bring it in. Turn the power on. Well, let's find that power. On. Did you have a long night of drinking or something? Emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We send a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and, well, uh... Oh. Yeah, call the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. 
Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. Is that you? So, <laughs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. No. Oh, God, unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that card. Don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Soft hands? <sighs> what? You need help? No. Well, there's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Oh. I have a mechanic's eye now. Your car is your shield. The car can protect you from radiation, anomalies, and the many other dangers of the zone. But only as long as it's in good condition. Keeping your doors closed and car parts in good condition will give you a dependable barrier from the zone if your car's health meter drops into the red you'll be at risk there are many ways to make repairs on the go be sure to check your crafting options to see what you can replace and you may find helpful tools as you rummage around in the zone is that an objective? Oh, of course. My tire. It's a summer tire. You got your tire. There you go. Let's get you in there. already it's got some quirks repair oh okay Got replacement door add to your to-do list Hoping all of these are uh, actually from the game. Hope they're not copyrighted. Rocket Cola. That's cool. Okay, open headset. I'm trying to figure out what that means and where it's at and what button it is. I feel stupid. I just kicked my car. 
How am I that strong? Sorry about that. Car ability. Certain components and equipment that will install in your car have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls to up to four of these using a small panel on the left side of your dashboard. You can car controls while in the driver's seat. You can steer brake first, shift between parking, drive, speed, and use which I think you can. You can also do a really nice one, too. I should have lost my own. Honk the horn. You can re-amp these controls and change camera settings in the options menu. Voice. Doors. Okay, here we go. Crude door. This wary flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. Alright. Let's see here. Wow, there's a lot to this. Pin to checklist. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yay, I did it! I did it! Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for the, your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Alright, let's do this. I need a pry bar. Pry bar! I just... okay. I think I'll take all of this stuff. Oop. My bad. Some tape. I like how this all kind of goes together in there like that. Now, let's get to it. Glass shards. I'm assuming a lot of this is going to be important. I'm a bit of a hoarder. Excellent. There's a door. Wait. What? What happened? Oh. I threw it really hard. Yoink. What the heck? Apparently I love this. This is cool. <laughs> what does it do? I'll need this. Maybe this? Oh, sweet. Uh -oh. Could you please stop throwing things? things they want it all oh I guess I could just do it to everything yes <gasps> duct tape it was a big roll of duct tape want to make a crude door craft okay A door. Oh. That's beautiful. Very nice. All right. Oh, I can make so much. And I think that's what this video is going to be about: is just making stuff for the car. 
There's a lot to this. I didn't expect this much. <laughs> so bear with me. <clears throat> what do we got in here? That's mine. I accidentally put it in there. Oh, I can use this as a storage unit, I'm sure. Ooh, a spare tire would be something good to have. That didn't work. Put in. Where do I put the spare tire? Does it go under the car? duct tape you can't cut tires up it's been damaged heavily I wonder if I could just tear everything off of it oops items in the dumpster. Whoa! Where did that just go? Nice. Dumpster is my friend. Hmm. It looks worse than before. Anything else you can give me? No. Equip, repair, putty. Okay. Okay. Repair putty. Okay. It's raining. Plop. Wish I had this in real life. More. Plop. That's so cool. That's so cool. You can put it on anything. One more. That's looking real good. Plop. For some reason, it's just so relaxing. S sitting in the garage, fixing my car, and it's raining out. A little bit on here. Looking good. Yeah, she's gonna be back to normal in no time. Scan the flat tire. I have a flat? See. Ceiling kit. I think it would just be easier if I just take that spare tire and put it on there. I think this is the flat one, right? <laughs> Now they match. 
I don't think they match the other side, though. No. Well, we'll just take this guy. Stick her on in the inventory. There we go. We'll fix it later. What's going on with this guy? Loose. That's why it keeps falling off. Need the mechanics kit. I think I have that. That tightened her up. Right rear wheel. That's a hard one to say. Let's check her out. Need some putty. Put the putty on it. Plop. Disgusting, but it works. Wow, she's looking real good now, guys. Cardboard boxes. You never know. Alright. I really want to make a bumper for this thing. Uh, I got plenty of stuff to make it. <sighs> Heck yes. Now that's a bumper. Yeah. Oh, more boxes. Install. Make sure you bolt them down oh. real good. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay. Wherever it'll fit. Oh, that looks like a good spot. This beauty won't just Sweet. be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my well, I think I put it in wrong. Invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Oh, there it goes. Feeling like a, like a time machine now. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. That was trippy. Hammer. Let's fill her up. Drink up. Switch to charge the battery. Okay. Let's do it. Throwing the switch. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Am I all set? Here's the map of the wall. I'll shout to plan your next drive across the zone. Along each route, you'll find different resources and face strange hazards. So make sure to choose your path carefully. Choose between revisiting known junctions to gather more resources during your routes to the multiple stages of taking them. Investigator tries to uncover the story behind why you're here. If the zone has one thing going for it, it's that gasoline here is free. Sign me up. It's a very cool vibe this whole game has. I like it. It's cool. I know I'm missing a door. I 
think we're just gonna have to drive without it for now. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. I guess I'll go here. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Oh, I say open. That didn't just work. Definitely upgraded my interior. Check both ways before entering the road. All right. takes me there. Interesting. Radio station. Residential damp forest outer zone. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need mm. a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always mm. accompanied by plasma generators. Plasma generator. device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby your headset has a built-in scanner use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need okay So pretty. Ah, uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't 
get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk to Oh my to god. Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. If I throw that one more time... Coming out of it. Needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, it's coming out of the Gas cylinder and two gears. Okay, I'm gonna go put some of this stuff in the car. The way it holds it, it feels like it's farther down than what it is, so that's why I keep trying to put the image of it in there. And it keeps yelling at me. Did I just the whole time? No. Good enough for now. Castle under gear. Bingo. No. There, just press it once. Puts it in. Maybe this will change your mind.
Consumer electronics. Not anymore. I need a gear. Oh, canned food sounds good. What's going on over here? Trippy. Found those parts you need yet? You've got that handy scrap? Go on and strip those junk cars for everything they've got. Yeah, about that. Oh. Still not enough. Oh, wait, no, I... Equals out to be way more than what it says. I'm doing it! Be able to impact hammer. There we go. Craft. Yay. Ooh. Shield your eyes. There's another one. Two out of five. I see. Some creepy noises out there. Whoa. Felt a little out of control right there. do that. Anomaly. Let's just get this and get out of here. Oh, ouchie! Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. There's a lot of antennas. I'm assuming this is the one? Whoa! 
What is that? I'm not gonna stick around and find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are we going? I hear something. Do it again. Ugh. Thanks. God. Not doing very well. Yes, we are on the right path. I don't know how I recovered from that. It's a gas station? me just getting some gas Crash dummies to me. Top off whenever you can. Well, I think... <sighs> I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. That's about all the time I got. Um, there's a lot to all this. Like, you can literally craft so much, repair so much, 
um, go anywhere. It looks like um, grab anything, tear anything apart. Um, it's a very, very vast, vast concept, and I've only just begun. Um, I'm assuming this is a very long game. Maybe you might be able to make it shorter just by going straight through it. Uh, I'm not sure yet, um, but we'll just call this the first video of many more, perhaps? We'll see. Um, lots of fun. Super awesome. I love it. Um, it's a good one. Leave a comment down below on what you think, and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell so you can see when I post more videos. But anyways, I will catch you later. Bye!